What's going on, guys? Ryan here, Michigan Storm Chasers. We have a forecast update video for you guys on this weekend. Hope you guys are enjoying the beautiful weather out there. For a lot of us, it's beautiful at least. There's a few places that have been getting some clouds and perhaps some rain, and that will be no exception today either. So diving in, we're going to touch on three topics, the aurora, the meteor shower, as well as just your typical weather forecast. Let's go ahead and start with the Aurora. We still have G2 watches in effect, as you see on the top of your screen here. This is for tonight, your G2 watch in effect. Tomorrow, your G2 watch is also in effect, and also into Monday, perhaps Sunday night late into Monday morning, G2 watch in effect there as well. All that basically means is the Aurora may be visible statewide. So here is a map of where you could see the Aurora depending on the storm level. And as we get to that G2 or higher, so G2, G3, G4, G5, that's an entire state event. So KP4 equivalent to no storm level up there in the UP. G1 slash KP5, you can see the Aurora in that yellow zone and points northward. And then as we have G2 watches tonight, KP6 equivalent down there in the red zone, we can get Aurora down into that red zone if it is a good night clearing as far as clouds, but also just that level of storm. If it reaches G2, we'll have a shot down there in the red zone and points northward. Okay. Now, with that being said, we did expect Aurora to happen last night, which would be Friday night. Unfortunately, it did not happen, but we did have an arrival of a CME, the energy that can cause Aurora just earlier this morning, popping out the old handy dandy graph. We do see a little bit of a rise here in our data as well as a spike in our solar winds that correlates well to a CME arrival. It wasn't a very strong one, uh, but enough to catch our eye here. And the environment out there in space does remain heightened. We also have multiple more CMEs expected to hit between now and tonight, as well as into Sunday. So it wasn't a one and done. We have multiple chances coming up. I do think Sunday night would have a better chance overall just because of the overall expected strength of the coronal mass ejection or CME that's supposed to arrive. So I'm kind of tuned in more so to Sunday night personally. Uh, but again, there are chances as we do have CMEs inbound today or that are expected to hit today as well as tomorrow. So statewide Aurora, definitely on the table tonight as well as Sunday night, perhaps Monday night as well. We'll keep an eye on that. But for the next two nights, at least we'll have that chance of Aurora. Now, we touched on that. We still have that peak of the meteor shower coming up. It's going to peak Sunday night into Monday morning. But still, last night was a beautiful show. We had multiple uh, sightings of shooting stars, meteorites, the whole nine. So get out there tonight. If you want to see some meteors, if you're clear skies, get out there. You'll probably see some more than likely. Uh, definitely a awesome meteor shower to go out there and take a peek. I would highly recommend doing so. As far as timing and direction, we have this question a lot as far as the meteor shower. The timing and direction is all night long. You'll probably see meteors. Um, the direction of the uh, source of the meteors is more so north-northeast, but you will see meteors all around 360 degrees in the sky going every which direction. So there's really not one direction to look, but if you want to like lay flat on the ground, I would point your your feet to the north northeast and just kind of look straight up and you'll likely see some okay as far as the meteor shower goes like i said it peaks uh on sunday but you're likely going to see uh meteors leading up to it which we have been and also the couple days after it so we're kind of in that peak as we speak right now but if you're looking to get out there during the official peak get out there sunday evening okay now, as far as the forecast and cloud cover tonight, we do have a couple of changes that have kind of come up over the past couple of model runs and also looking at the current forecast. Uh, we do have a couple of showers out there this morning as well as a rumble of thunder possible but unlikely up in the UP as well as portions of northern lower Michigan from Houghton Lake and points northward. Those showers up there are not going to be a huge deal but when you look at the radar here, you're not seeing too much, but you look at the mesoanalysis, the real-time data, we're seeing an overlap of what we call vorticity and 3K. Now, what that ingredient does is basically it stretches the updraft of storms and it also makes it kind of spin or perhaps horizontally spin. It's called vorticity. I'm not going to get into too, too depth with it, but a lot of low-level instability out there as well with some amount of spin 
I would not be shocked to get a few cold air funnels or perhaps water spouts out of the showers that are ongoing in northern lower Michigan as well as the UP. So if you're up there and you see a water spout, don't be shocked, okay? Also, cold air funnels are not tornadic. They rarely touch ground, and if they do, they are weak with winds roughly around 50 or 60 miles per hour. So it can cause weak damage, but it's nothing to go hide in your basement about. Just move indoors if you see a cold air funnel or a water spout that's coming towards you. Just move indoors. You'll be okay. And also report that directly either to us or to your local NWS office, which the UP would be Marquette, and in Northern Lower, it'd be Gaylord. Uh, we can relay that for you. If you don't want to call them directly, we can go ahead and just relay that to those if you, if you want to send it to us. Um, but outside of that, do expect showers to continue on this afternoon. And with the showers comes some cloud chances for tonight. I know a lot of you guys are expecting the aurora as well as meteor spotting, stuff like that. So looking at the cloud cover map here, we are seeing a little bit more in the way of cloud cover today up there in northern lower. It does try to thin out by the time we get towards sunset, but notice how almost the entire UP here is socked in with clouds as well as portions of northern lower. So if you go further north, you may run into some clouds here. This is at midnight at this point. So we have some just kind of scattered cloud cover across uh, the southern portions of Michigan, but mostly clear skies the further south you go. The further north you go, more clouds expected here according to this model. And that will kind of be the case here all night long as we get toward that 3 a.m., 4 a.m. time frame. The cloud cover just gets thicker and thicker. So Aurora watchers tonight would probably have better luck. Excuse me, the further south you go, probably toward that Lansing, Grand Rapids, perhaps the Thumb region uh, in terms of overall visibility. But I do think the further south has better shot at clearing of skies tonight, which I do think can be clear down there. Uh, I'm just not too confident in clear skies existing further north in that lower northern lower as well as the UP. So uh, take with a grain of salt if you're looking at the forecast going out tonight. Just uh, keep in mind you could have more clouds the further north you go. We'll have updates on our page as well as uh, timings and stuff like that as soon as we know Aurora is going to happen tonight. Again, it's just a forecast. Aurora is extremely hard to get uh, correct, even for the professionals. Uh, you know, these forecasts are very fluid. So we'll have updates as best as possible. So stay tuned to the page on Facebook for those. Before I hop off here, one quick shout out to our sponsor of the video. As always, Cats Roofing and Siding based out of Lansing and Battle Creek. They cover windows gutters and primarily roofing and siding if you live in south central michigan feel free to give those guys a call 517-485-9886 would appreciate that and we appreciate cats for becoming our sponsor here at michigan storm chasers with that being said we'll see you guys tomorrow for sunday, sunday night weekly at 7 p.m on facebook and youtube all right see you guys stay safe and enjoy the beautiful weather for the majority of us here in michigan